Hey guys, Karo97 again, this time with the transformation of the Unicorn Gundam Perfect Rig. So let's do this according to the manual and get started transforming this beast. The first problem is we're gonna have to quickly remove him from the stand, open up this hatch, or at least attempt to open up. This is something that could potentially be somewhat tricky because it's not that easy to get out. The easiest way I've discovered is simply do it like that and just pull this out to reveal that beautiful psycho frame underneath and you know kind of torture him medieval style. We will pull out your arms and in a second I will also pull out your legs. I mean, sometimes you just gotta torture them a little bit in order to get them to do what you want. And close this up again, and this will actually link again, so it's not going to go back to unicorn mode. Oh no you don't. And that is why you should usually have it on the stand. So, let's see, those are opened. Reveal. These things, and the easy way I find is just use one of these separators to come on, get out. And now my nails work the easiest, so come on. Now I think most of you are already starting to see why I decided to make this a separate video. Come on out. Here you come, there we go. It's a torso. Put him back on there. Easy does it. And onto the face, because, well, it's already kind of coming apart, so carefully, gently pull them out. And I don't know how easy this is going to be with my arms all stretched out, so. Well, that's. Sure as hell wasn't supposed to happen. Now let's see if we can fix this. Gently put that back on there. Collapse it in. Come on out. Now one thing that I found kind of unfortunate is that the V-fin, you only get the transformable v-fin and when it's in unicorn mode it is still a bit split it's not absolutely perfect the way it should be like the tips you can still see that they split a bit and then let's see you can get this done the way it should be you gotta say transforming the head with my arms all stretched out on camera isn't exactly the easiest thing to do yeah that's just gonna be a quick jump cut and of course, that suddenly went a whole lot easier. Bring it a bit closer onto the arms. Simply start with the lower arms. And these two pieces are actually... Well, the way they go out, they go out together. So you have to pull at them together. It's a bit difficult when you're pulling them out, but putting them back in to unicorn mode is actually pretty easy. And then simply pull out like that, and then those should go like that. There we go. So the arms, simply to destroy mode, pretty easy. Oh, and as I was saying about the V-fin, I think it would have been better if they included a separate unicorn horn. Uh, kind of like they did with, um, I know at least one of the Monster Grades did it, like they had the transformable horn, but then they also gave us a normal unicorn horn, which I think is a pretty good idea. I mean, it still has that perfect grade everything transforms gimmick to it but you do have the option of using the other horn if you really just want to have a great looking unicorn mode 
And then of course, because it's destroy mode, this time the beam Talonfus will come out all the way onto the waste area that folds out. And these tend to be a bit on the weak side. Sometimes when you're trying to fold them out, they will snap off their peg. So just be a bit careful. Out they come. And that's exactly what I was talking about. So let's see. Quickly click that back in there. So yeah, this is about what you can expect when you're going to transform this yourself. I've heard some people complain that the transformation is really, really complex, but really... Yeah, it's not really complex as much as it just takes a bit of fiddling. I mean, they don't require you to do anything that makes you feel like you're going to break him. That's the most important... <clears throat> As I was saying, you don't have to do anything that makes you feel like you're breaking him. So this, well, I'm transforming him. I'm transforming him according to the way the manual wants you to transform him. But I would kind of recommend that you start with the legs in order to prevent something like this from happening. So let's put his legs back in his body and quickly get on with transforming the legs so that they won't drop off again. And really, this is my favorite part of the transformation. They literally just fall into place. You pull it out, push it back in, and the legs essentially transform themselves. I can't get enough of doing that. Push that back in. And then the legs, the legs themselves are some of the more difficult parts, the lower legs especially. Now it, this one will just pull out. And this here is where, well, it gets a bit tricky, but once again, not super, super tricky to the point where you really have to complain or worry about the complexity. If you can build a perfect rate and if you can assemble the LEDs, I don't think you're going to have to worry about transforming it, really. And then push that back in there. These come out, these click in there again, and onto the feet. One thing I didn't realize at first is that this foot guard actually clicks into place. So you don't have to worry about this going all over the place. It will actually go in there. There we go. And then those go up. Fold them down, out comes the heel. And now he has found solid ground and the rest of the body isn't gonna fall off again. And then all that is left is the backpack. Very easy to transform. Simply fold out the beams, pull this thingy up, and pull those thrusters out and then reattach it to the body. One thing I definitely have to mention is they really made sure that the backpack is very easy to remove. It slides in there, clicks into place, and despite being easy to remove, it's in there really securely. So that is definitely something they really took into account. Great job on that. So turn him around and here we have the Unicorn Gundam in full destroy mode. And now let's transform the right half to the Unchained mode to really see how different the versions are. And I was very surprised by how good the Unchained mode looked. The head is very easy in Unchained mode. You simply have to pull out these fins on the head. There we go. Just Two fins, one on each side. Let's put that back into view. Go okay, just one little fin, not a lot, subtle touch, but cool nonetheless. Same kind of goes for the chest. 
there you go, Unchain mode. The front skirts are a bit more elaborate. You pull these things out. Yeah. Same goes for the back skirt. You simply pull on them a little bit and reveal slightly more psycho frame. That is essentially the Unchained mode for some pieces, but others such as the shoulders definitely require a bit more work uh, to get them to unchain mode. The big challenge here is you kind of have to pull them out and push them up First, you've got to be very careful there we go to pull out the entire thing and you can really see how they're doing because here you can see it's nice and smooth and here you have that little indent which tells you that you did it correctly and then simply pull them out to once again reveal some more psycho frame Onto the upper arm, you have to gently pull both sides apart and it kind of gives the same effect as the upper legs. And I have to say, so far, these transformations uh, to the Unchained mode look like they fit into the Destroy mode absolutely perfectly and look just at home. Then the final thing you have to do with the arms is these flaps fold out. The one thing you have to keep in mind is that these are also the flaps that the shield connects to, that the Gatling guns connect to, so if you decide to go full in chain mode with those flaps, and now it kind of looks like he has a crossbow on there with this uh, being the bolt, uh, you will not be able to mount the shield or the Gatling guns with this. It's a bit unfortunate, but hey, um, you can just pretend that Unchained mode does not require you doing this. Then moving along with the legs, and this is definitely where the most drastic changes take place. Because the most subtle thing you're going to do is simply pull out that plate there, fold open this thing and the same one on the other side. It's not really noticeable, but you do have to do it. And then the real magic happens. You fold out these and spread them out really good. This is absolutely fantastic. Look at it, it really gives it more bulk and definitely a very cool feeling. Now on the inside you're only supposed to very minutely change them though of course you can do them the same just as this uh, the flaps are the same on either side so you can just have them all the way out like this or do it more like the manual tells you and have the effect on the inside of the legs a bit more subdued but if you want to go crazy by all means feel free to do so just Pull that out and reveal that psycho frame a little bit. Sometimes, uh, sometimes a touch of subtlety is the best, I guess. And, well, there we go on that side of the leg. And then the final thing to transform is, once again, the backpack. First, the side thrusters, pull them down until you hear the click. To be relatively soon, and pull them out a little bit. Then finally, push, well, pull this down, and then the manual will tell you that you have to push into the side a bit, but only very little, because they actually go out automatically when you push, when you pull this down, which is a neat feature you got going on. And well, that is the entire, well, left side for the unicorn, right side for us, side transformed. And I have to say, the Unchained mode is very very cool and some parts of the unchained mode feel like they fit in with the destroy mode 
absolutely perfectly, uh, such as the part in here on the upper arm, a uh, few little other pieces such as extending the front skirts, extending the side skirts, and other parts like opening up the legs feel radically different. So it's a very cool mix and really it gives you a lot of um, opportunity to create your own NTD mode. You know, do you want it to be a bit more extra extravagant? Do you want it to be a bit more subtle? Because you could just have all sides of the legs transformed like this and have a hybrid between the Unchained mode and the NTD mode. So have fun figuring out which way you like it best. As I say, there are no limits in Gunpla. And finally, let's not forget about the destroy mode of the shield. Unfortunately, we don't get a cool unchain mode like with the mobile suit itself, but you know, I guess they didn't really pay a lot of attention to the shield. Pull this out and there we go. And if you don't just want to mount the shield, on the arm, which you can do with the beam Tonfa deployed, but unfortunately not in the Unchain mode here, you might want to do something with the shield other than just putting it on the stand. Well, something that the manual doesn't mention is that this peg actually goes in there, the same hole where you can put the beam bazooka, uh, the hyper bazooka or the beam magnum. And it goes just like you would with the normal RX-78 And that's all for the transformation video. Uh, to go back to the main review, click right here. And otherwise, see you guys next time.